Hello, Maria. Great, great question. Um, hits home to me, and that is teaching children, um, specifically uh, the art of teaching children. Well, it is an art. I, I love that you said that. Well, everything is, for me, in, in life is an artistic expression. This is all an expression, so it's all art. But I think that's a great way to look at life and definitely teaching kids there is an art to it. Um, and an art has to be felt. You feel your way through. Yeah, we, you can learn and teach certain things, um, including how to teach. <laughs> but really it becomes an instinctual thing. I think uh, the, the best teachers find that. Now I'm not a qualified teacher per se, but uh, I've always had a natural gift for it, you know, for for. Helping people to share knowledge or share something with somebody or help somebody learn something or understand something and being very adaptable and very understanding that people learn and experience and understand things in different ways and being able to adapt so that they can understand and basically have an experience and, and, and have them feel me and by feeling me and there's there's a more of an understanding. I've always that's always been a natural instinct for me um, at a very early age. So, but I never really did anything specific with it. But uh, so in all aspects of my life, I, I would always see that as a strength, and um, and it's it's it is a wonderful approach and a very organic, natural approach. So really, if it comes down to it, you know, I, we're all teachers deep down. We're all, we all have it. We're all just finding your own way and flowing. But with uh, myself, I, I finally, I, I was doing uh, artwork and paintings and uh, I was an artist from a young age. And uh, so I did a lot of artwork, but never really seriously got into it. So in my uh, later years, I said heck with it. And, taught myself to paint and, and I really enjoyed the paintings but then I realized uh, you know that uh, that I, I was I you know I was only going to go so far with it I enjoyed it but uh, you know I, some people they just have a bigger passion for it we see it they're brilliant work and you know my work was okay but uh, yeah I just did it for fun I enjoyed it um, but I knew that I could teach the very basics and, and, and more than that in a way that hadn't been done. I just felt I could just uh, inspire people to just do it for fun as opposed to a hobby that you have to learn and be good at, but just basically to help people release their inner artist because everybody's an artist. Every It's part, this whole life is an artistic expression. So just to help people express themselves basically. That's what I really wanted to teach, is, is, uh, wanted to teach was how to express themselves and especially children. So I uh, started doing my own workshops and uh, did it for many years. Taught over 200 students, mostly children, and loved it. Um, would like to get back to it again someday. Um, <clears throat> got a lot of other dreams that have been fulfilling and will continue to, but uh, yeah, I'd like to get back to it again. But yeah, the art of teaching. So, um, children especially. So I found, again, just to be yourself and just to be natural and organic and adaptable and spend lots of time. Uh, when I taught my uh, painting workshops, uh, basically I would only demonstrate for like two, three minutes tops. Uh, you know, a technique specifically with a brush that all crowd around me at the at the canvas and I'd show them. And we do it pieces, so here's how you do a tree. And then, uh, so two, three minutes, then uh, they'd sit down. Then the next hour or two would be them just doing that and uh, their own, you know, finding their own way in doing that and uh, expressing themselves uh, by, you know, using the techniques. But being encouraged to do whatever they want, you know, if 
big tree, little tree, crooked tree, you know, I'm always encouraging creativity, not just a copy. But just show them the very basic technique real quick and then let them just create, actually create from their own imagination. And then I, my, my way is to just float around and uh, help them one-on-one, -on -one, you know. Uh, so, you know, they put up their hand or whatever. They can, I'll come over to them and, uh, but yeah, just floating around and just uh, lots of one-on-one -on -one and uh, the personal, you know, touch. Because that way we can, they can tell me what's going on if they're stuck at a spot. or there's, A lot of times they'll go through, it's part of the expression, you know, people will be going through emotional dilemmas as they're painting, right? One uh, loved it up to a certain point, and now it's not going the way they want, and but they can't stop, and they won't, you know, they won't, they just have to fix it, they have to fix it. Now, you know, it, it also brings out so much of what's going on with us. And then... Um, yeah, you get every other kind of thing. You get people that uh, don't know what they, you know, they, they don't know they, the direction anymore where they were going. And you get other people that are just having a ball and just, you know, uh, just flying with it. And you just everything in between, right? It all starts to come out. But with the one-on-one, -on -one, you can, if someone's having trouble or, you know, getting frustrated or getting confused, then you can really talk to them, see what's going on with them, and then you can adapt. And, uh, you know, rarely do I tell them what to do. If, if they're starting to switch direction, go, yeah, but I was thinking of doing this, but I don't know. I, well, let's go with that then, you know. So, there is an art to it. One-on-one, -on -one, I would say, is, is one of the biggest, if, if it can be done. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, nothing beats one-on-one, -on -one, and nothing beats a teacher that really is passionate and um, really wants to give the student experience not so much tell them how to do something or to teach them but to guide them so really we say teach but it's really the best teachers aren't teachers so much as they're they're they're, they're guides facilitators facilitators so that's what i would say is it's the art of facilitation and one of the greatest tools, of course, is the more personal and one-on-one -on -one and adaptable uh, the facilitator is. Then that's when we really see, and with children, that really works because children are, are they're starting to, but they haven't been traumatized yet by this environment. They haven't been broken yet. <laughs> so their, their, their personalities are vibrant and their, their ways are vibrant and, and, and passionate and unfiltered and uh, for the most part and unpredictable and so uh, and still so much yet to be defined you know uh, pure they're still pure so as they're experiencing it uh, again it's um, you want to be a facilitator not interfere with it but just be a facilitator if they're feeling excitement about something, you know, you can you can feel that with them and encourage them in that way. And, but yeah, just to be more adaptable because the, each child's going to be different, and, and uh, the one-on-one -on -one, that the one-on-one -on -one is uh, with children is where it really uh, uh, has the best effect. Uh, I find for me. But again, yeah, just being a facilitator seeing it that way less trying to say this is how you do something uh, we, we see people and, and children that have teachers like that and it doesn't go too well <laughs> so yeah and it is an art it's definitely the art of, of uh, facilitation letting that being what that person needs you to be to have that experience and, and uh, that they want whatever that is Great topic. Love it. Thank you.